Hey everyone, this is Jenny Streeby with Confessions of a Hairstylist, and welcome to my holiday hair series. Now, I have Claire here with me. She's with beautyandabargain.com, so you girls have to check it out. The link is gonna be below. And I wanted to show you ladies, all you edgy ladies out there, how to achieve the faux hawk braid. It's really, really pretty, and it's perfect for any of your edgy holiday events. So let's go ahead and get started. this hairstyle, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing a Dutch braid all the way from her hairline all the way down to her nape. Then we're gonna pull it out and really pancake it out. So basically, I like to comb the hair back. I'm just using my fingers in this case. And all I'm gonna do is create a little bit of a triangle parting, or more like a kind of a half um, horseshoe parting at the front. And basically, we're gonna start our braid there. So basically, we have our section of hair. We're gonna split it in three. So I'm gonna take my fingers, split it into three sections. So now, now I'm just gonna take the section from our right side and we're gonna go up and under into the middle. So basically doing a Dutch braid um, technique, you're basically going underhanded opposed to overhanded. So now we're gonna take our left section of hair and go up and under into the middle. So now we wanna start incorporating hair. So now we have our right section right here. I'm gonna utilize my pinky. I'm just gonna take a section of hair, incorporate it into that section of hair to our right, and again, we're gonna go under into the middle. We're gonna be doing the same technique all the way down to the um, nape for neck. When working to the back of the head, you definitely want to position your model or your client's hair down because you want this pretty close to the nape of the neck. Um, if you were to hold it this way with your um, body positioning, you'd actually be braiding away from the head shape. So you definitely want to position the head down and work it pretty snug and tight into the head shape. Now I'm just going to secure the ends with an elastic. And basically for this, all we're gonna do now is go ahead and pancake it out. That's gonna give us a lot of fullness and really give us that faux hawk feel. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of volumizing dry shampoo and then simply pull on the hair pretty aggressively. So I'm gonna work the right section first and then go to the left side. Okay, so I'm gonna just pull it out just a little bit around the face. I'm just simply gonna pull it pretty aggressively and hairspray it just to kind of create more of a pompadour kind of feel. All right, so there you ladies have it. A really gorgeous, rockin' faux hawk braid utilizing the Dutch braid technique. So I hope you girls enjoyed it. And if you guys wanna connect with Claire, all of her links are gonna be below as well as mine. And then I wanna give a special shout out to my girl Stephanie with SN Makeup Artists because she did Claire's lovely makeup today. So for more hair tutorials every single week, please subscribe to my channel.